Hello, and welcome to Python Programming. My name is Kimodo Saroni, and I will take you through the introduction to, to Python Programming. So the first question we have to ask ourselves is, what is Python? And uh, before we get into that, we have the course objective. And it will take me a lot of time to explain uh, each and every one of these items. So I prefer to do that when I get to each and every item. And the introduction, we will look at uh, the items that are supposed to be in, in the introduction. When you go to getting started, there are items there, we we'll look to that. So let us uh, start by asking ourselves, what is Python? Uh, Python has nothing to do with the Python uh, animal, uh, the snake. Uh, it's only that the creator of Python, uh, Van Rossum, was highly fascinated with a comedy called Monty Python's Flying Carcass. And uh, he wanted a unique and uh, mysterious name. For his uh, for this programming language, therefore he ended up giving it the name uh, Python. And as for any programming language that you come across out there, it must have a uh, property. And the same case for Python, it has properties uh, or features. And some of the features that stand out are we can say that uh, it is a general purpose programming language, it is a high level programming language, and it is also an interpreted scripting language. General purpose in that it can be used to create a wide range of applications, applications that can run on both computers and handheld devices like the mobile phone or the tablet. Um, it is high level. In that we can, uh, as we as the human can easily read and understand the code written in Python programming, and then it is interpreted. In that the uh, the source code or the program written in human readable format has to be interpreted into what the computer can be able to understand. So we have these other features, which is, uh, we can't go without uh, highlighting or putting into account. One, it is simple and easy. In that, the, uh, when you are writing computer instructions in Python, it's just like writing English statements, phrases, and sentences. And then it is, uh, we have already talked about, it is a general purpose, high level and interpreted programming language. And then it is cross-platform. Cross and cross-platform means, um, it, uh, in this case, we, the, when you talk about platform, you're referring to the operating system where Python application can run and uh, where Python itself can run. And we have three major operating systems, that is Windows, Macintosh, and Linux. And it can run in all of these platforms without any problem. And then it, ha uh, it is free and open source. Free in that uh, you don't need to purchase any license or pay for any license for you to actually install and use Python in your computer. Uh, Open source in that you can uh, uh, you, you can alter the source code and uh, you can contribute by creating a module and adding it on to the Python. And then Python uh, has a huge community and large ecosystem. And this large community is the one that uh, come together because it is open source. This uh, uh, this community is brought by uh, is formed by people who come together to work and uh, 
make Python better. And they do that by creating libraries and frameworks and adding more tools to Python to increase on or enhance its functionality. So let us look at uh, some of the areas where Python can be applied. One uh, can be used to develop Windows application, used to develop uh, web application, used to develop mobile application, used uh, in machine learning and uh, artificial intelligence as well as data science. It is also used in hacking, used in testing and uh, game uh, development. And, uh, and big companies like Google also use uh, Python to uh, in their day-to-day lives. So that is a basic introduction to Python. We will uh, continue building on, on that. And I hope together we will be able to achieve uh, something great.